Hey, Noob Noob, I heard that you think Deadpool sucks. Oh, it sucks me off, baby. Oh, hell yeah. That's right. This is our reviews with key to you. We key to you with Noob Noob and Z. And we're going to talk about Deadpool. We won't talk about the Phillies and the Cubs. We're here for baseball today. This is a baseball blue baseball powder blue teams. podcast. Powder blue baseball teams. That's right. So, uh, ooh, look, I can, f- I can. What's a Luna swipe? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna add scene transitions. I don't even know what that means. Oh, anyway, you're talking about the Tide commercial in the background. The Tide commercial. Yes, that's a scene transition. So, why, why, without spoiling anything yet, we won't go into spoilers right away, what did you think about Deadpool? Thought it was pretty neat. Um, Neato. You know, it was, yeah, it was, I was just watching, I was like, you know, neat. Honestly, I, I thought it would have been better. I thought it would have been better. Really? You thought it would have been better? Yeah, like, I was watching it, and I'm like, this is Thor 3. So, like, Thor, I was Love and Thunder. No, not the not the gay one, the um, Ragnarok. Ragnarok. There you go. Like it was a really fun movie, and then two minutes after you left it, you're like, "What was the point of that?" And there is no point. That's the point is, it's a of... Deadpool movie, though. Yes, but some of it fell flat. Although I... once they got the once they got the stuff rolling with the cameos at the end, like the larger cameos, I was like, "All right, I'm with this." Interesting. I there's still no point to it. Yeah, but who? Ca- that's the point, though. Is I guess I came to it with, into it with really low expectations, so I didn't think it would. Be, I thought they would totally screw it up, and it was way funnier than it had any right being. Like it, it shouldn't have been like that funny. Hugh Jackman as Wolverine's great in this. I will also say that it was a Wolverine movie, not really a Deadpool movie. If you really think about it. 94 he's gonna go till 90 he's we're getting we've got him till 90 that's right i thought it was really good i would give it like an 88 give or take yeah it, w- it was a solid it was a solid b plus like, I, it's not 10. a bad movie a- I, minus enjoyed maybe? It. I would i would see it again i'm going to buy it yes i would definitely uh, see it again do you what about out of the three deadpool movies what do you think definitely better than two way better than two it even make one fun of two. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to rewatch one to be honest. I think Deadpool one might have had the better immediate value of being funny because mm-hmm. it was the first time. But I think this was probably this was probably better. Yeah, because I don't know if it hold if if Deadpool one holds up. Like, does I'd it have look to rewatch cheap? It, yeah. I uh, said Doc was complaining there wasn't enough action. One of our mods. So I'm thinking. I thought there was a lot of action, and I liked the whole fourth wall breaking. It wasn't so much fourth wall breaking. That's what was kind of annoying in the other ones. I don't mind fourth wall breaking, but it was a little too much. This one was just enough to get you, you know, to, to do it and, and have a couple jokes, but not too much to get crazy. That's what I thought. Was I do. About it. Canada pool was the best. Canada pool. Not nice pool. Yeah. You're now you're spoiling. Oh, nice things. pool. Nice pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Are we gonna move on to spoiler talky talk? So we both sure. recommend it. You should definitely check it out. If you don't want spoilers, move on from this point. We're gonna try to add a little bit of flavor because the spoilers, we're gonna put some context to them. This to we're me just gonna go through a list of spoilers. Who, who was in there? No, just every every list. We got Hugh Jackman's in there. Hugh Jackman. Channing Tatum's so. in there. Henry Cavill's in there. Uh, well, Wesley Snipes is in there. Stop just going through the spoil and just <laughs> talk about them. Like I'm doing a thing from you. Did oh you didn't watch it yet? I guess right. The pitch meeting. Yeah. The pitch yeah, meeting. I did. That's where he goes. Yeah. And he well, goes he to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and he, then he goes. Uh, he goes. Are you a doctor? No, I'm just another producer guy. My t- my wife told me if I wore this white I told my wife if I wore this white jacket people would think I was a doctor. Exactly. Yeah. He's like, well, can I tell you all the cameos? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a bad idea. I thought there was honestly going to be more cameos. Uh, there were probably more than you realized. Like one I had to tell you, and uh, I thought you there was just enough. Oh, yeah. 
there was just enough cameos to uh, shake a stick at. And I thought it was any more and it would have been just dead cameo. Like not even a real movie. It would have just been cameos. This felt like the the more nostalgic no, I, no, not more nostalgic. It felt like Spider-Man Far From Home or No Way Home. What mm -hmm. was the third one? No Way Home. This basically felt like their version of Spider-Man No Way Home. They just brought a bunch of nostalgia back. Except in a sense, this movie for me, it was a love letter to all those early superhero movies that, that kind of lost their way. And it may it the, the thing that makes me impressed by the movie is it made me look back fondly at those awful movies. I hate just about all the X Men movies, all the Fantastic Four movies. They even reference Fantastic Four stick. Like, how dare you reference Fantastic Four stick? Uh, that was I, honestly, it makes me want to rewatch it. Fantastic Four stick. I never even watched it to begin with. I want to re I want to I re I watched it when it came out and I was like this is pretty shitty. Mm -hmm. I want to rewatch it to confirm it is terrible. It is terrible. I only watched I actually might have watched it but it was so bad I don't remember any of it. I remember the wig switching. And that's how you could tell if oh, they were reshoots. Katie Mara, right? Yeah, if Katie Mara had different if she had a bad wig on, it was a reshoot. Oh, that's right. Then the lava turned different colors, I mm -hmm. think at the end. There was a yeah, bunch there was of a nonsense. Lot of there was a lot of dumb stuff in it. Yeah, and that guy, his career, that director, his career is basically over. Josh yeah. Crank, Trank, something like that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he was the Chronicle guy. Yeah, he 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 killed he killed his career. Uh, so I just thought that was really cool that it made me look back in a positive way. Like I hate X Men One so much. I hate that saber tooth. I hate everything about it because they even had to say they even made a joke about it in the movie. They're like, "Look at Sabretooth, your brother," <laughs> and they did him so dirty, which was awesome. Yeah, you want to talk about the first big cameo in the movie that there is besides every character ever in Deadpool, like Dopinder and the bartender who he kept saying, "What do you think you're gonna get a line in this movie?" That yeah, negative. And then Marina Baccarin, who is hot as hell. Yeah, she just she keeps she's she's uh, she's doing good for herself. That's for sure. What about uh, who else was in there? That Johnny one? Storm. Yeah. Well, that was the big reveal. Is everybody thought it was Captain America, but it turned out to be Johnny Storm, which is just it was so good, so crazy. Made it also me, make it makes me want to rewatch the Fantastic Four movie, like the original one too. They're pretty terrible so i'm not going to say that they were good yeah even the one, i mean jessica alba was in it so eh. B which not to get off track but i i've heard rumors that the new fantastic four movie is going to be actually very good which i would be shocked if that happens but we'll see um i heard it from chris gore and i usually trust what he says so who else was there? We'll get to. I did like Nice Pool. Nice Pool was a good touch. And Dog I, Pool. Yeah, I, 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 it's. I have a weird relationship with Logan. While I no longer think it's the best, it's the best R-rated superhero movie. I guess. I don't know. I just didn't like Logan. I don't like him saving all those little children at the end. I, I don't know why there you needs just to be little like children. didn't like there was Atta Kids. I hate Atta Kids so much. Why add kids? Just kill the kids. Although okay. the kid, like that kid, is pretty hot now. Daphne Keen, I think she's pretty hot. Did you see her in the accolade? <laughs> she ain't hot, that. No, but like in this, I'm like, the day home. She, yeah, she she pretty she pretty cute. Yeah, but what she acted in besides the acolyte, which is she's clearly Nothing. a Disney kid. I actually liked yeah, her in the acolyte. I thought she was good. I thought she was good in this too. But yeah, I, th I thought she was good for her very small screen time. I, I and I also don't like in Logan how he fights a clone of himself. He shouldn't have fought a clone of himself. That was stupid. At the very end, I thought that was dumb. Does he fight a clone of himself? Yeah, I already he fights a clone that. of himself. Yeah, and that's and I thought it was cool that they could recontextualize. Logan on some level, like a little bit. Uh, opening sequence, pro what did you think about all the Loki nonsense? I thought that was a great joke where he's like, you mean from season one, episode five of Loki? <laughs> I think there was too much TVA Loki nonsense. involved in it. 
without mm-hmm. actually Loki showing up. Like Loki should have shown up at that point. I think he was just trying so hard to like crap all over Marvel and Disney that he was just was like, how can I make this awful? <laughs> like that black chick they added. Do you even know who she is? You have no idea. Who literally does nothing. Wait, who? The the black chick from the TVA. There's a black chick in this in this movie. Yeah, remember, <laughs> remember, the, remember the one at the very end where she's she's like falling in love with Pete, with Peter. Oh Poole. yeah, you oh yeah, where she's like you look good in that suit. Mm, yeah, okay. Mm, so that, at yeah, least yeah. she had a good joke there. I thought that part was funny. She's from Loki and is completely useless and has nothing nothing to add to the show whatsoever. Oh, so she okay. So she's an actual character. Yes, she is a character from Loki. I felt like you had to do a lot of homework to understand this. One thing I'm gonna put, I want to point out though, and we could talk about the the other cameos. Is the whole uh, some of the jokes? The jokes were so good, and there's five writers on this movie. They work on two levels, and some people get like the first level of the joke, but if you're really like in on the in, you get the second level. And the best example of that is uh, uh, Electra shows up in this. And who's, who's oh it? yeah, that, though, there What's was her name? there were some good Electra jokes. What's her name again? Jennifer Garner. So Jennifer Garner. Think about the character. Like to think about Electra, and then think about who Jennifer Garner is and what movie yep, she's from. That was a good one. So the joke yeah. is he he's listing all the people who've died in the um, in the void, right? And they're like, oh, we lost Daredevil. And and Electra goes, eh. So the good part of that is, oh, Electra doesn't care about Daredevil anymore, right? But what's the smarter part of that joke? It's because Ben Affleck yeah, done <laughs> left Jennifer Garner with children yes, to go back to J-Lo. That is true. <laughs> a true story. So that's where I thought a lot of the jokes were really clever and worked on multiple levels. I didn't really like the cocaine joke that much. There was a lot of cocaine jokes for yeah. Disney. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of of Blade coming back? Yeah, that was weird because I'm pretty sure I read a, uh, a story that Ryan Reynolds and Wesley Snipes hated each other during that entire filming. They did have a joke about that in there, which I thought was funny. I think Wesley Snipes had to get his head on straight, and now he kind of does. Because he went to jail and whatever, and he's and he's. I like, thought they were gonna make a tax evasion joke. Oh, they might. Who that would have been. <laughs> that would have been good. I didn't like that he didn't have his sword. I thought that was kind of weird that he didn't use like any type of katana or anything. Like he just kept using that other knife. What about the the joke about there's no other? He says the line. He says some some mfers is always trying to ice skate uphill. He said that line. I wish he would have said something about suckheads. All oh, these damn suckheads. <laughs> I don't. I'd have to rewatch. Like Blades are Blade One and Blade Two are good movies. I even like Blade Three. It's not a great movie, but I like it. Um, but he goes. He says there's only one blade. <laughs> and, and oh yeah, and Marvel's yeah, literally the filming. And they're like, oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, that that was good. Yeah, Wesley Snipes coming back was good. Jennifer that movie Garner, might not get made either. So for those of you who don't know, they are trying to make a Blade movie right now with Mahashala Ali. They have fired Marmaduke, two, yes. two directors and like four writers have already gone through this movie, and they haven't even started filming yet. How hard is it to make a Blade movie? That stupid Superman movie's already done. Can you believe that? They filmed that in like really? two months. Yeah, it's already filmed. Already finished. They, man, uh, James Gunn is like a machine. When he wants to film something, he's like, bam. Because they they started principal photography maybe uh, two months ago, tops. And he's he's like, yep, already done. Final, final shoots. It'll be out next year. I'm like, he said there might be a trailer in the next week or two. Holy shit. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, and then who else was there? Oh, the big, the big one people won't understand. Is Channing Tatum as that was great, Gambit. but also like, what the fuck? Why was he doing a French accent? Because in t- so there's a lot to this one. So in 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 uh, 2014, there was going to be a spinoff. Do you remember X Men Wolver- uh, Wolverine Origins? Origins, yeah. There was supposed to be X Men Origins Gambit, yeah. And 
so Channing Tatum loves Gambit, and he bought the rights to it, from what I understand. And he's the producer on this thing, and he got... <laughs> He he learned all these card tricks. He he did all this training. He's a little too heavy for Gambit. He should be a lot thinner. Like Gambit is a thin thin guy. But uh, he also went to he, he went to a uh, uh, a dialect coach. <laughs> and Ryan Reynolds made fun of him for it. He's like, I don't know who your dialect coach is, but you're just massacring this. So I thought that was pretty funny. So in the very, very beginning, I thought he was awful. I was like, this this movie never would have worked. I cannot believe it. But then towards the end, when he actually subtly went into the French Creole accent and was just being Gambit, I actually thought it worked. Is Gambit supposed to have a French accent? Yeah, he's French Creole from New Orleans. Oh, okay. I was like, I thought he That's just That's why he always says, a... mon chéri. He says, mon chéri to Rogue all the time. Oh, okay. I thought he just made a really no. stupid accent for you, no You reason. never watched the X-Men co- uh, TV, like the, co- not the comic book, but the, the show. No. Like the animated show? No. I'm the only nope. one who reviewed it. Okay. Well, I watched it. And yes, he has a an accent. That's, that's the whole point. He was a uh, pickpocket in New Orleans. That was his job for a while. No. Oh. Yeah. So, so Channing Tatum wrote a whole like love letter to Ryan Reynolds saying I can't believe like he's like I never in a million years thought Gambit would ever make it to sc- ever to screen you fulfilled one of my life dreams he's like I can't thank you enough it means so much to me so he's basically crying the entire time the only other thing is I didn't like the suit reminded me too much of like what's the X-Men apocalypse like it reminded me too much of the old X-Men suits not enough of like a new like updated suit like a more marvel looking suit you know what i mean i don't really know gambit suits oh. all that much i his power was awesome had... blowing people up with cards is pretty cool i mean he he does seem pretty weak but he was very powerful yes he is well he can charge people with connect and charge things with kinetic kinetic energy uh what was oh and wolverine in his full costume was was, it looked weird though. Really? I really liked it. I really, really liked it. it I thought it was kind of weird. What was weird about it? The eyes? Maybe that's what threw yeah, you off? Yeah, it was the eye. I think just because you're not used to him being in costume yeah. on any of the times he's played the character, I'm like, uh, eh, it looks cool, but it's weird. He's yeah, he's never played the costume and they kept making fun of that. I mean, there there it, that's what's weird about the show or, or the movie. There's there's not much to the plot and you know that Cassandra they spent too much on her sticking her hands in people's faces. That was just bizarre was weird. and weird. Yeah, I don't I don't know why they spent so much money on CGI for that. Um but I, I really I think all of the subtle jokes and the the interplay between Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds made the movie because the two of them were just excellent together. The, the, the dramatic scenes was what made the movie. I agree with you, and that's why I'm saying it's a lo- it's really a Logan movie. It's really a Wolverine movie. It made that, that made scene the movie. in the car that I sent you. I was like that. That's easily I think the best scene in the movie. I liked the, the interaction between him and X23. Like all the little subtle scenes were really good. I also like the idea that uh, Ryan Reynolds, he you could you you began to feel Wolverine's exasperation with him not shutting up till it boils up to that scene where he like you know he criticizes yeah. Deadpool and he shuts him up where I, that was really really good cuz you were just like he just kept go- he was like a motor mouth he would not stop making jokes and talking and talking and talking till the, finally got to the point where you could you could sense Wolverine was about to lose it but as an audience member I'm sitting there like oh my god just shut him up already like he just won't shut up and I thought they played that out very, very well. I thought that was executed excellently. For like a dumb comic book movie, that was really subtle and very solid. To get the audience to feel the same as Hugh Jackman, where you're like, can you just kill him already? I thought that was really clever. You didn't get, yeah. you, you missed that? That went over your where head. The, where they couldn't die? What do you mean? <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, what about the the last cameo I guess we could talk about is uh, who was Lady Deadpool? Who did I have to tell you it was? Oh, Blake Lively? Mm-hmm. Is it confirmed? Why didn't they unmask her? I don't know. Because I think is that, that would have been too meta. That would have been way too meta. Is that Blake Lively in the suit, though? 
Uh, as far as I know, it was, but who knows? I mean, she's up for that. Why wouldn't she be? Hmm. I don't know. She just had she had some kids. Is she really in that fine tune? Oh my shape? gosh! Sure. It's a bodysuit. It holds a lot in there. All right. Did you? Oh, and by the way, Hugh Jackman. My word! Did you? Did you even get the joke when they're hitting the radio and they played the "This is the greatest, uh, the greatest show" or whatever? The greatest oh, show because he did the greatest showman thing. Yeah, and then he made a joke about having him sing. <laughs> like the jokes were really yeah. clever. Like they did a really good job. I think the original, the writers from the original Deadpool were part of the five writers who worked on it. No, yeah, they, there were good jokes in there. Yeah. Uh, I, I really liked it. I thought it was very, very good. I enjoyed it. I don't know what else there is to say other than make uh, me four more sequels. <laughs> they're going to make uh, they're gonna make a Wolverine and Hulk movie next. No, really? That's what I heard. That's what I heard. I can't imagine. I think they're just going to team Wolverine up with different people until he dies. <laughs> We've got him till he's 90. Yeah, basically. He, oh, did off. they say that the divorce really took a toll on him? Oh, that was a good, that was a good one. That's a really yeah. good joke. That was a yeah. really good joke. I think only Ryan Reynolds could get away with that. No, because they did it in Rick and Morty. They oh, did the true. same yeah. exact joke in Rick and Morty, and he was the voice in that episode. That's so, true. Yes, Hugh Jackman got divorced from his beard. Very sad. And now he is secretly gay with Ryan Reynolds. Oh, probably. <laughs> yeah. So highly recommended for both of us. Uh, let us know what you think down in the comments below. We would love to hear, like, what was your favorite cameo? Would you have liked to seen anybody else? Did you think it was cheap that they just went with a little Spider-Man, like, pew, pew, pew? You know, would you like to see the Merc with the mouth? They even allude to Punisher and don't even show him. And they even say, which Punisher is the best Punisher? Obviously, uh, the, the what's his face? Thomas Jane. Oh, isn't John Barringer? No, not Thomas Jane is the best Punisher. Are you kidding me? John Barenthal? Yeah, John Barenthal. Isn't he coming back? I think so. Yeah, so maybe they were alluding to that. I don't know. I thought I, I I'd have to see it again. There were so many jokes. So listen to what you think down in the comments below. In the meantime, check out our podcast. We live stream it here on YouTube, 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like, subscribe, join the channel, feed a starving noob noob for a dollar. See that TV I in the background? Money. He can't. He could barely afford that thing back there. He this broke is only a 55 inch TV. I need at least a 75. <laughs> so help him get there. Look at these little tiny monitors I have in the background. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for listening. We love all y'all, but we are on to the next one.